Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here at weatherweb.net. It's Friday the 3rd of April. Thanks again for watching. Because it's Friday, that means we've got the uh, look ahead from the JMA for the next month. And this is uh, week one from the JMA. So this is from uh, Wednesday this week, taking us up to next Thursday. So this is up to the 9th of April and you can see here look at the red colours indicating higher than normal heights indicating high pressure getting in so they're in full agreement with the idea of pressure building as we head into next week and rainfall wise the prediction is for below normal levels of rainfall that's what the uh, yellow colours on here are showing. Of course, that's not to say it'll be completely dry. Uh, it won't. Gary has all the details on that for you in the fast forecasts. Um, but certainly the emphasis is on dry weather. As far as temperatures go for next week, uh, near or just above normal temperatures showing up uh, across most of the UK. Sorry, this is a blurred image, but it's zoomed in uh, on the UK from a global view. You see there, they're just slightly cooler than normal temperatures, perhaps in parts of uh, eastern southern England and also southern Ireland, reflective really of the easterly wind. So dry weather next week, the week after, so into week two on the JMA, which goes from the 10th of April through to the 16th of April. Um, this one then shows look, the trough getting going in the Atlantic, more of a southerly flow trying to get established across the British Isles during this period. Um, it's indicative really of the high collapsing off towards the east and you'll know that I've been saying uh, for some time that uh, I didn't think that the high that we're building in the um, early to middle stages of April would hang around for very long and indeed that's what the JMA is trying to show. So I think what we can assume from this is that the trough is going to try and get its way a little bit further eastwards. It looks like it does bring wetter conditions particularly out towards the west of the country. Um, actually probably it's a fairly mild sort of pattern um, but an increasingly wet one as the week progresses. So I think the date that we've got to zoom in on for a changing conditions is around about the 13th or 14th, perhaps a little bit earlier um, for a breakdown from the dry weather going into more unsettled conditions. Rainfall wise the forecast for the week looks like this look it's got the blue colours in there now that has to be towards the back end of the period so this is why I'm saying from about 13th or 14th onwards we turn wetter from the west. Um, East Anglia, South East England just cut off this image but they're drier than normal uh, for the time of year according to the JMA so it shows the idea of that rain encroaching from the west and temperature wise near normal overall to just above normal. I actually think it could go a little bit milder because of those winds coming in from a southeasterly direction, eventually southerly and then going into the southwest. Now, weeks three and four, so this is from the 17th of April through until the 1st of May. This one picking up, look, on quite a significant trough feature here, running down the west of the UK, through the west of Iberia, down to the west of um, Africa and also we've got another trough feature out here in the Atlantic that's the main feature look with the low the normal heights across those uh, central northern parts of the Atlantic during this period so what can we deduce then from conditions given this pattern well with a weak ridge out towards the east it's suggesting that we're going into more of a west to southwesterly flow across the country probably with rain at times across northern and western areas but still drier towards the east and the south although all areas are likely to be um, fairly changeable. I think really during this period the, the phrase mixed uh, sums it up quite well because I don't think it's going to be a washout I don't think they're going to be wonderful conditions I think it could be reasonably mild um, but I don't think it's going to be one really to be writing home about. Really, it's going to be the north and the west of Scotland, northern and western Ireland, to see most of the rain. Wouldn't rule out low pressures coming in at, from time to time, um, pushing fronts eastward, so all of us seeing some rain at times. But I think there'll be some drier conditions in there, particularly across more southern and eastern parts. And you can pick that up from the uh, rainfall predictions for the two weeks ending the 1st of May. And you notice here, look, the blue colours north and west of the British Isles indicated there that uh, rainfall is above normal in those areas. But you notice the more yellow colours off towards the east indicating that rainfall is below normal there. So this is this idea of that southwesterly flow. Temperatures generally hovering um, above normal for the time of year. I don't think it's going to be a scorcher, but I think it uh, is likely to be fairly mild. 
So I think the JMA really giving us quite a reasonable prediction there as to how conditions evolve during the course of April. It's always looked as being a month of two halves with the drier conditions certainly being at the start of the month but the more mixed and unsettled conditions towards the end of the month. But at least it looks as if temperatures are going to be rising as those winds go round into a southwesterly as the second half of the month kicks in. OK, I'll leave you with that for now. Whatever you're doing on this Good Friday, have a good day. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to check out Gary's Fast Forecast. And, of course, we'll keep you updated right the way throughout the weekend at weatherweb.net. And, of course, you can follow us on Twitter at WXWeb. So, for now, whatever you're doing, thanks again for watching. And keep the sun shining. Bye for now. <laughs>